ambition was actually to be a professional soccer player, um, but I didn't manage to be one because in the end I had to study. I had no chance to show my skills and stuff like that because my dad wants me to study. So in the end, I chose studies over sports. Uh, actually, to be a lawyer, I even got in for a course, but I didn't pursue it eventually. It was actually the snack store because the auntie used to sell snacks, the sunflower seeds, the biscuits, you know, the white and brown ones, and also the five stones. So that five stones were really useful because we used to play hopscotch with it. We used to play five stones with it. It was it's super fun. Eventually, you learn how to make it on your own. Then you don't even need to go to the store to buy. <laughs> you are in a, my era, la, same era. Yeah. La. <laughs> my favorite store is actually the... I still remember um, because I come from a, a normal neighborhood primary school. I still remember stall number three uh, sell nasi brani with one chicken wing and then a bit of curry, two potatoes, one carrot, that's it. But it costs only one dollar. Yeah, and it can make you full until like dinner time. So that was probably one of my... It's, oh, it's always on every Friday. Lah. So every Friday I will always look forward to that. Hmm, very interesting question. Um, because when I went to uni, right, I wasn't paying for myself. So my dad was the one paying. So I had to follow what he chose me to study. If not, I have to pay for myself, which obviously I don't have the cash at that time. So actually, if I weren't, if I were not to be a teacher, right, I will actually be a sports psychologist or a physiotherapist. These two. A billionaire? <laughs> of something that leads to NGO or maybe like children and women's um, you know welfare something along those lines contribution to the society probably yeah <laughs> there were a couple bowling track and field ELDDS uh, I enjoyed each at different phase but um, the closest friends I made were from ELDDS we were a group of very uh, close Need girls and till date we still keep in touch sometimes what goes into drama uh, into debates is a lot of back end um, you know friendships and bonds all of that is formed so I enjoyed that the most actually eventually secondary school right yeah uh, sister sister time you know? yeah right. I got two main CCAs uh, one is actually soccer obviously Malay boy soccer and then uh, when I was in tertiary level I started playing uh, floorball and hockey uh, which I actually got deeper into especially floorball uh, I represented Singapore also eventually wow um, SEA Games 2015 you can actually find me there uh, I got a gold medal yeah so basically I chose that because um, soccer obviously my gang all play soccer my boys all play soccer so I play soccer but I didn't get to I didn't manage to like go further because of my injury and then I started to to, when I went to tertiary, I actually started playing hockey and floorball and I started to love it. I'm a goalkeeper, lah, so yeah. But eventually, I managed to get into local clubs. I went overseas, I played in Switzerland, I played in uh, Czech Republic, uh, I played in Malaysia, Japan. Yeah, I went to a lot of countries for floorball. So I'm still involved in it now. So I'm contributing. I used to run my own club, but now I'm back with my uh, previous club lah. so you can see me live on YouTube every weekend actually yeah if you want to see yeah um, face off and yeah, this one can can speak there face off sports TV yeah you can actually like um, watch me live or there's actually recorded videos of me lah, of my matches um, um, yeah, actually, yeah, that's why I chose floorball. I try, but after that, I kind of like, love it, and I think that's where I excel. Uh, that's where my sports journey went through. La. Yeah, so, yeah, basically, that's it. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much. <laughs>